All right, everyone, it's here. It's officially here. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is the finale for the New Cats Dynasty. I can't believe it, man. I cannot believe it. Uh, I kind of just sat down to start kind of marathoning these videos uh, to see if I could get a bunch recorded, and uh, I ended up finishing <laughs> all of it. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the last episode for uh, New Cats on the block. Our Northwestern Dynasties were closing out our 20-year experiment. I think it's actually 19 years, because I was in the 20th year in real life. But anyway, you get it. Uh, and we're going to close it off here in the Fiesta Bowl, facing off against the Air Force Falcons for the third time in the BCS title game. Uh, how many times we've played Air Force? I think it might be four. I think that one time we played them in the first season is the only other time that we've played them in the Dynasty. I don't think I've played them in the regular season since then. Uh, so this essentially is our fourth meeting, I think. Uh, either way, uh, Air Force is back in the national title game. They were not in it last year. Normally when we aren't in it, they're not in it. Um, or normally, when, yeah, when we're not in it, they are in it, is what I meant to say. So normally that's where they are, but uh, it is... It, they were not there last year, and they are finally in it again this year. So this is there. I said what their total was uh, in the last time that they were in it, and I think it's like, what, dude, like seven, eight times now? Uh, this is a rematch of the 2020 Orange Bowl and a rematch of the 2015 Sugar Bowl. So, uh, yeah, this is like the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors dynasty <laughs> just running alongside each other. Air Force has not gone away since this dynasty has started, which is just crazy to even say. It's just nuts, dude. Uh, but, yeah, so this is going to be the last game that we do here, the last episode. So uh, enjoy it, man, because I'm going to enjoy it, uh, kind of putting this series to a close here in the last couple videos I've been talking it's just kind of you know just kind of meandering seeing what's left in the series left to do but uh, we have one more national title here to play for and win so uh, off to a terrible start as uh, our quarterback finds a Air Force defender and there's no one around him he's going to get this one into the end zone for a pick six so Air Force is going to start off with a defensive touchdown. Normally, they're the ones who are turning the ball over a million times uh, in these games against us, but uh, they, they come up big. Uh, their defense comes up big here. Normally, their offense struggles, so maybe they're going to need all the defensive help that they can get. So we give them a freebie early on in this ball game, but we have another opportunity uh, as our quarterback is just going to keep it himself and run up the middle. And Mickey Skinner, who won quarterback of the year, injures himself uh, trying to keep the ball himself. He is having a Jared Goff uh, type of bad game. <laughs> uh, it is nuts right now. But either way, we have horses in the stable, so we, it shouldn't be too concerning here for our offense. We should be able to still do something against Air Force, I'm hoping. here. I would hate to lose our last game, and it looks like Skinner is healthy. I think that's him back out on the field. So he had just set up for a couple plays. Uh, he had a case of uh, pussyitis, I think, so he should be all right here. Uh, rub some dirt in it, and he is back now to lead us to the promised land, hopefully, as our receivers cannot seem to catch the football. So maybe it is not a promised land, but here late in the first quarter, it's second and ten now. We're in Air Force territory. Skinner has got a clean pocket here, and he lays up an absolute laser and finds an open receiver who hauls it in inside the 5-yard line. So we are cooking things up here now deep uh, into Air Force territory. I mean, look at that dude. Beautiful pass, man. Beautiful pass, beautiful catch. Uh, special team, special plays. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, so first and goal now as the clock runs to zeros here. It's the last play of the first quarter. Sooner's going to move out and find another Air Force defender as he lays up his second INT of the game. So uh, an opportunity for the Wildcat offense quickly goes south uh, as we give Air Force another opportunity that they do absolutely nothing with. So we have an opportunity here. It's third and ten here in the second quarter. Skinner tries to evade some pressure here and nearly gets sacked, but he finds an open man who's got some speed here and tries to stiff arm. And it does not work, but he gets brought down at the 10-yard line. So look at that, passing yards. Air Force is none. It is 7-0, and Air Force doesn't have a single passing yard. This is... Okay. Anyway, uh, on the next play here, Skinner's going to flip that out to the corner, uh, to number 83, uh, who, he had, who he hit uh, in the last drive to get within uh, scoring distance, uh, but uh, unable to connect there, and it's the third interception for Skinner. This dude needs to go away, and uh, he is unable to make the tackle here, and this one's going to be another pick six. It's going to be a 104-yard pick six here, as uh, uh, our receiver's unable to get to him. So it is not only our third turnover of the game, but it's our second pick six, so... Air Force can't really do much of anything on offense, apparently, but it's okay. Just wait long enough, and uh, we'll, we'll lay up some ducks for you uh, to do whatever, <laughs> to get your pick sixes, I guess. So we are absolutely folding right now. Uh, I know you guys haven't seen 
the Wildcats play this terribly <laughs> in a game uh, since I was playing the games in year one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty abysmal. I mean, we've had some bad bowl games uh, that I have, uh, you know, shown and recorded in the series. But this one is, is pretty bad. <laughs> Skinner is having an absolute master class terrible game here. Uh, he might have as many picks as, as completions, I swear to God. <laughs> but either way, we're trying cooking again on offense here. Skinner sells that one into the dirt. Uh, things are not looking good here. It's second and ten now. Uh, and we're going to flow this one across the middle, and that one is complete here, but we are still short of the sticks. So it's going to be a third down situation for the Wildcat offense. Third and short, just a minute and 40 left to go. Skinner's going to roll into pressure and throw this one to even more pressure uh, as uh, that receiver comes down with it, surrounded by uh, Air Force Falcon defenders. But it is a first down, and we're going to use some timeouts here, try and manage the clock and get into the end zone because we uh, we have a big hole to climb ourselves out of as Skinner finds the running back out of the flat, and he's got zero room to run, and he gets brought down in the backfield. So. I think they're going to rule him down here, uh, like where the line of scrimmage was, but uh, he doesn't go anywhere. So a minute and 31 seconds left to go here. It is second and 10 inside the red zone, and on an option play, an awkward option play, that one almost, uh, almost fumbled. I just, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. It's third and nine now. Uh, we really need to get into the end zone. Skinner trying to do a whole lot here, and that one almost intercepted again, but this time it it finds its way through. It, it, it passes through uh, the seas as the seas part through the hands, and look at there. <laughs> yeah, defenders in position. But fortunately, our receiver was able to come down with it. So we were able to cut Air Force's lead in half. Both of their touchdowns are defensive. Their offense can't do anything against us. As normal, their offenses never do anything against us uh, in these games here. Air Force going with the option play, and it's a beautiful pitch here. And there's nothing but green grass in front of him. And finally, we are able to contain uh, their running back, uh, Bertrand. What a name. What name is that? Bertrand? Jeez. Bertrand. Mr. Bertrand. Mr. William Bertrand. Uh, is able to get just about down to the 20 uh, off of that option play. So uh, Air Force is cooking here as I was just flaming their offense for being terrible. They're uh, doing something here. And then the quarterback lays up an absolute dime to our defender here. And he's got, look at that speed, dude. Look at that burst of speed. Jeez, man, our safeties and our cornerbacks got absolute speed. Yeah, no one's going to catch him. And we get a pick six of our own. So it's the third pick six of this Fiesta Bowl uh, this time goes in our direction. And there you go. There's Skinner and Swift's uh, matchups there. And it is absolutely disgusting. So uh, there are 28 total points in this game and 21 of them are from pick sixes. I feel like that's a record. It's got to be a record somewhere, right? Uh, but even though our offense has looked absolutely terrible in this game, we do manage to tie it up. So it is down to this, ladies and germs. This is potentially uh, our last game, and it is coming down to the wire in a beautiful batted ball to himself is another interception for the Wildcats. I think that was the same guy who had the pick six, was it? Let's, let's take a closer look at the number here. Uh, I think it was number five or number six who had it. And, uh, yeah, uh, well, it's number two now. So... Uh, shout out to number two. You guys remember number two from the first season? <laughs> That's for the OGers <laughs> who've been watching since the very beginning. Uh, I know I've made you wait long enough, <laughs> but uh, shout out. Uh, either way, uh, we're moving things now on offense as we have a prime opportunity to take the lead off of that second interception off of Swift, the Air Force quarterback. So... Skinner just needs to protect the football, and everything will be okay as he sends this one through the air, and he does not do a good job of protecting the football. That one could have easily been intercepted. Uh, fortunately, it was just batted down. So on third and short here, we need to come up with something. We're going to give it off to the fullback who shakes off a couple tackles and fortunately gets brought down uh, past the first down marker. So it's another Wildcat first down. We have a fresh set of downs as the clock ticks underneath four minutes here in the fourth quarter. We are in the driver's seat, and then Skinner lays up another interception the fourth pick of this game fortunately that one's not a pick six may as well have been jeez dude i just oh my god we have not had that kind of quarterback play in these games like in that in this whole dynasty in like, like 10 years look at that 17 for 31 he's throwing the ball 31 times and swift's not even throwing the ball uh, just this is a gross game this is grosser than the 2015 sugar bowl i swear to god <laughs> but we get the ball back as air force is unable to do anything with it and this time skinner finally does something uh, of note uh, and there's our three receivers who are getting a bulk of the work today. So there are their names. I haven't been calling them out because uh, I've just we've lost the roster at this point. I've had so many receivers come and go. But all I know is that guy right there is getting a ton of work. So uh, we get ever so close to the goal line here. Second and goal, we're going to go through the air. And Skinner off of his back foot. A dangerous throw yet again, but he does find an open receiver. And that right there is the go-ahead touchdown here. But there are still just under two minutes left to go here. The game is certainly not over with how turnovers have gone uh, today in this Fiesta Bowl. It is still anybody's game. Anybody could come up big. Uh, 
and so nothing is a guarantee but as i know right now we are currently holding on to the lead as the clock is running here but air force has the entire length of the field to go and swift takes just a half second too long and gets tripped up and now air force is going to run the hurry up because they feel the pressure now it's second and 15 they got to get the entire length of the field about 80 yards uh or more than that 90 yards if they want uh even a chance to continue this ball game and swift is going for it all and he actually gets it all or at least gets half of it as he finds an open man who gets sandwiched uh just shy of the 50 yard line but just like that air force has already uh, made an attempt to flip the field here as they get down to uh, midfield so swift under some pressure here is running around in that pocket but he finds an open man but hold on there's the yellow hanky on the field we have a penalty we don't get many penalties in these games but there is a penalty and that's going to be a hold so air force is moving in the wrong direction that is absolutely deadly for Air Force's offense right now. They really, really could not afford that. Only a minute left to go here. Now it's first and 20. Back them even further back into their territory. Clock is continuing to run. So Swift is going to find an open man who does not have his hands attached to his body. And he's going to drop that one. So it's second and 20 now uh, from about their 40-yard line, I believe. That's what it looks like. Or, or 35, perhaps. Uh, but Swift is going to find an open man who gets brought down at the sticks for a first down. So 47 seconds. Air Force has prime opportunity here to get into the end zone. The pressure's getting too swift but he finds an open man who fumbles on the way down and it is picked up by her defender and that might be all she wrote ladies and germs and there's no review we're not going to the booth on this one so that fumble is going to stand and there you have it second and four here now we are trying to get this first down to ice the ball game and our fullback is going to break even more tackles and get upfield and that is going to do it for the wild cats ladies and germs this disgusting game, this awful, horrendous game, this terrible, no good, bad game, finally ends in favor of us. I truly thought we weren't going to win it when I was watching this. I was like, dude, there's no way we're going to win this game. There's no shot we're going to win this game. Throwing four interceptions, skin around, I don't know why you're celebrating. You have no reason to. You might as well start uh, collecting the guy's helmets and gloves and pads. You're the equipment boy on the way back. You did absolutely nothing to help us at all. Uh, but uh, there it is, folks. Our fourth national title here. We beat Air Force three times in the BCS. In a Sugar Bowl, an Orange Bowl, and a Fiesta Bowl. We beat Air Force, and we also beat Miami in the Rose Bowl. So we collect a BCS title in all four possible games, uh, which is cool. I didn't even notice that. And so very fitting uh, that we're going to end this series uh, in Tempe at Sun Devil Stadium <laughs> in the same place where uh, the Cardinals series uh, is uh, just, you know, very poetic for, for my channel here. The small, very humble beginnings of my channel. Uh, it's just, it's nice for me. So it's our second Fiesta Bowl trophy. Uh, I think our second straight Fiesta Bowl. I think we beat Oregon State last year, right, to get uh, the first one. Uh, and uh, there, there you see it, our crystal football. <laughs> Ironically, Oregon State says, hey, Rich Poker, why don't you come over here? Come on over to Oregon. Take us over here. We have a great team. Uh, I don't know why they would ask for this. I think this is like the second or third time we've been asked, maybe by Oregon State in this dynasty, but asked by a team who actually is in a pretty good position and doesn't need us. They want us because we are... We're just that guy. But then again, what team wouldn't want Nick Saban coaching them, right? Even though it doesn't make sense for them. Like, if Ohio State has Nick Saban to coach them, it wouldn't make any sense, right? But who wouldn't want Nick Saban? So that's essentially what we are for the Wildcats here. Uh, looking over our, our, our rankings here, we, of course, top things out. Nebraska's at 2. New Mexico State at 3. UAB comes into 5. So UAB was still good, but not good enough. Air Force drops to 6. Central Michigan at 9. Ew. Louisville creeps up in 11. Familiar face. Oklahoma at 10, the defending champs. Uh, Miami's here at 12. It's kind of where they stay. Oregon State was at 13. Uh, no Big Ten teams. Are you seeing this? There's no Big Ten teams. Ohio State finally comes in at 20 after winning their bowl game. Uh, and West Virginia creeps into the rankings at 23. Uh, and Virginia Tech at 24 and Wisconsin drops to 25 after losing their bowl game so some interesting numbers there uh looking around here and uh yeah I guess for old time's sake let's go through all the numbers again are all Americans our stat rankings just for one last time uh this is I guess the part of the the, the video where I should probably be going over uh, all the trophies and everything so I guess I'll pull out my document and just see like see what what's happened <laughs> you know uh just kind of co cover the things that i can say um there are some trophies we haven't won in a while like the bed and eric i don't know the last time we won in bed and eric but we won one in 2004 so that's as far as i've kept track of those we won a few jim thorpes i think we won some recently but uh yeah it is what it is uh recruiting i would like to tell you guys recruiting wise um 
because I didn't keep track of last year's. So uh, here we go. So now I, I've got the complete list now. So uh, in our first season of recruiting in 2004, we were 28th. So that's actually pretty decent recruiting wise. Thinking back to where the Louisiana Monroe series is and how bad I was in recruiting in that first uh, couple of years, 28th is pretty good for the first year. So we moved up to 14th and then 10th and then 8th. Uh, and then we dropped to 38th in 2008. Remember, that's when we took a step back and we weren't that good. Uh, like, we, we we had a couple, like, just fall-off seasons where we were, like, 8-5, and 9-4, and four, something like that. Uh, and then in 09, it got worse to 52, um, to 52nd, excuse me. Uh, I got confused by the Big Ten standings here. This is probably our biggest margin of victory here. We absolutely hose the Big Ten. It was the worst year for the conference. Indiana winning one game again, per usual, because that's what they do. That's all they're good for. Uh, but after going 52nd, we did not have a class outside of the top five for the rest of the dynasty. So from 2010 to 2022, we had a top five recruiting class every single year, including nine straight years uh, of first place uh, recruiting classes. <laughs> so uh, we absolutely cleaned up <laughs> as far as recruiting goes uh, and I think I've covered just about everything as far as like national championships go like I've told you guys about Oklahoma going all the time uh, and Air Force going all the time uh, maybe some more interesting ones Ohio State went in 03 and 05 and have not been back since uh, or no they went back in 2009 so They've won three. The three times they've went, they've all won them. But, uh, yeah, they haven't been since 2009. Uh, Kansas State was in the first one <laughs> in our dynasty, and uh, they never went back. So, because I was talking about in the last video, the teams that have went uh, and then, like, didn't, didn't, just didn't go back again. And Louisville was kind of the team I picked. But Kansas State went once, and they were done. Uh, Oregon State went once, and uh, they were done. Uh, or they won in 2016. So that was their only two appearances. So, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Colorado State in here and Virginia Tech, uh, Miami won two, and then they played us. That was their first time back since 2006 was when they played us in the 2017 Rose Bowl, and they lost it. So, uh, but as you see, they've been in the top 15 in recruiting and, and in the season every single year. So, uh, you know, the consistency there. But that's how the rest of the college football landscape kind of kind of plays out here. And now we're just going to kind of go over the last of the numbers here but uh yeah i mean that's that's really kind of uh, all she wrote for the series uh again the third down attempts and fourth down we're always last in those just because how great our offense is dude we're scoring on the first and second play who cares if we're converting third downs we probably have the fewest uh in all of college football it does not matter so it's just so nice to see that little tiny PNG of the national championship uh, <laughs> trophy sitting right there. Uh, and again, we grace the cover Sports Illustrated. It's the perfect way to go out. Uh, and we're going to look over uh, the report card, <laughs> which is here we go. Average tens is up to almost 56,000 people. We're undefeated in regional and national uh, broadcast. Uh, our win streak is 15, so that stretches back to last year. Uh, we have had 18 winning seasons of 20 years. So we only had two losing seasons. 208 and 54 is our, our record. Uh, we only lost one game <laughs> to Illinois to our rival. We've only lost one game to Illinois. That's nuts. That bull record of 14 and 4 is crazy. So we've won the Big Ten seven times, I guess. I guess I've. I've really missed when we've won the Big Ten, because I thought the number was only like four or five, uh, but yeah, apparently we've won seven of them, so I'll take seven titles, I guess I've forgotten, so here are all the, the goals here, the contract, we've achieved them all, uh, our longest win streak was 28 games, we won 28 straight games, that's nuts, <laughs> winning 28 games, uh, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it guys. That's the end of New Cats. Uh, this series is coming to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is my first series I did on the channel. First college football series I did on the channel. The Cardinals is the first series, but uh, yeah, we're bringing this one to a close, man. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, here, here's to what happens in the future on this channel with college football.